you know that we are ever so close to a college football season, and that would be the Amway Coaches Bowl came out. And I'm excited about it. I mean, it's a preseason Coaches Bowl. It's whatever. Um, <laughs> Joseph said the uh, the LSU red shirts could beat Tennessee. So <laughs> uh, let's dive into the the preseason top 25. I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to do it, you know, 10 and then 11 through 20, and then uh, and then we'll do the last five. Clemson, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, and LSU are, are your top five here. At Not surprising there. Oklahoma at six, Penn State seven, Florida eight, Oregon nine, and Notre Dame ten. Uh, you see anything surprising in the top ten here? No, just big boy schools. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we got here. Uh, Michael said, by the way, I'm all for exposing Ohio State. I think they cheat their ass off, but Harbaugh better not throw rocks in a glass house. It seems like after someone snitches, something comes out about them. Um, yeah, and then Huey said Tennessee has won the last 10 preseason national championships. Yeah, Tennessee's always got a lot of hype. Uh, number 11 is Auburn, and then we've got Wisconsin, Texas A&M, Texas, Michigan, Oklahoma State, USC, Minnesota, North Carolina, and Utah. Um. You know, I think North Carolina might be a little high here, but you you won't be able to tell it based on their schedule. You know, I think they got a really favorable ACC schedule. We'll talk about that on a preview over on sbrpicks.com next week. Um, you know, Utah lost their entire defensive line in a ton of their production. No one cares about these things, Gary. Steve Spurrier famously didn't even, like, fill this stuff out. Like, he had some grad assistant fill his I out. Mean, it's all SIDs at this point. So, yeah, like, and nobody knows anything about any of these teams. Okay, we haven't we, didn't, we haven't watched spring games. We haven't watched, and no one knows anything. Uh, that, see, that's that's something we can definitely talk about. Is nobody has any idea right now because we no, don't know that's who's why still this, opting out. This doesn't matter. Like Minnesota at eighteen, Rashad Bateman's gone. So, like, what does that mean? Um, you know, it, I'm gonna bet eighty percent of the people that fill this out don't know that because no one cares. Matt MS69 on Twitch said, I think Oregon should be higher. Joseph said, Penn State might be very overrated, uh, especially losing Micah Parsons. Um, <laughs> Matt MS69 said, damn it, Chris, just play the game. Uh, the Brown Yeti said, Oklahoma State's a little low to me. Terry said, just wait to see what Tennessee does next year. LOL, love hearing that from their fans. It's so funny. Um, yeah, here, let me get through the uh, the rest of it. UCF, Cincinnati, Iowa, Virginia Tech, and Iowa State. The only two group of five teams in this list were UCF and Cincy. Um, okay, you know, I don't know. Tennessee is is the other receiving vote. Uh, behind them is Boise State, Arizona State, Kentucky, and Memphis. So, you know, interesting. We'll see what the AP does when they decide to release theirs. Uh, Terry that said, one won't be worth a damn either. Terry said, with everyone LSU lost, how are they in the top ten? They lost a lot of big-time talent. Well, because they've established a culture there, and they've always got talent. About to say, got a lot of talent there to play so, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's a, you see the same thing with Clemson, Ohio State, Alabama, and Georgia, and whoever else every single year. They're just not used to seeing LSU do that. Yeah. Well, it's because Coach O's only been and there it, for And it hadn't been years. done yet, by the way. So. Uh, let's see. Matt MS69 says, AP polls should not exist until after week four. Come on. Well. Come on. Maybe not AP polls. Because that's that's media guys. Like they got to have something to talk about. So nobody nobody should do a poll until October, at, at least until everybody's played like four weeks. Now yes. this year's week and, four. And is I'm not be talking. Weird. If you've got three high school teams on there and a couple of penitentiary teams, then I don't, I don't care about that either. I want I want four or five real football games. Yeah, I'd be good with that. I'd be good with that. And that's I mean that's what the uh, the CFP does. I mean, their rankings are the last four weeks of the year, or last five yep. weeks, whatever it is. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about Mike Loxley. 